Right, so we've recently heard a lot about OLED iPads and Macs launching in the future and now Ross Young chimes in and shares what he knows about these products and so let's delve into it. So essentially Ross Young believes we could see a MacBook Air and iPad Pro refresh with OLED displays launch in 2024 and this does confuse me to be honest. Now the iPad Pro part of the report does make sense because we have been told by many sources that the new two stack OLED displays Apple suppliers are developing are much better than the current mini LED panels. They have twice the brightness and four times the longevity and also reduced power consumption by 30%. And so the best iPad models in the range getting the best displays makes total sense. However, let's now get to the confusing parts because why is the MacBook Air getting OLED first? Like if anything, much like the iPads, the MacBook Pro should be the first to get this upgrade, not the cheaper Air. Since on top of all these upgrades I mentioned earlier, two stack displays also work better with high refresh rates, which the iPad Pro and the MacBook Pro has, but I don't see the MacBook Air ever getting. And I do have a feeling Ross himself is unsure about this because he says there is a chance this OLED MacBook might not even be an Air but just a base MacBook, which would make even less sense to be honest, or of course a MacBook Pro. And yes, I do think there's a real chance Ross is wrong about this because you might remember he did initially think a 27 inch display in the supply chain was the new iMac Pro, but we later found out that was actually a 27 inch Studio Display Pro that was in the works. So I wouldn't be surprised if he's making a similar mistake here and I don't blame him because he only gets information on the displays themselves, not the product name. However, that's where things get even more confusing because as I said, Ross gets very credible information on the display itself and is always accurate with the display sizes. And so him specifically mentioning this OLED MacBook will be 13.3 inches is kind of puzzling because that is a screen size that Apple's about to kill off. Because in case you don't know, the M2 MacBook Air with the thinner bezels got a small display increase to 13.6 inches. Similarly, the smaller MacBook Pro got a larger chassis and of course now has a 14.2 inch display. So the only Macs Apple sells right now with the 13.3 inch display are the M1 MacBook Air and the M2 MacBook Pro, which are two designs that are archaic that I'm sure Apple is not going to be selling in 2024. So yes, I really don't know what to say because I refuse to believe Ross is wrong about display sizes, but at the same time, I just don't see a 13.3 inch MacBook happening in 2024. Really, the only possibility is a 12 inch MacBook revival that German told us about with thinner bezels that allows for a 13 inch display but that brings us to my first point which is why would an entry of a MacBook get the best display tech possible? I guess one could argue the larger MacBooks could be more susceptible to burn-in if they were OLED but I doubt that would be a huge issue with the new dual stack structure. Anyways time to delve into what you guys think regarding OLED iPads and Macs. Sir Evan Rogers says I hope the first OLED iPads is a 16 inch iPad Max or bigger and yes I completely agree with this. I would love to see the Max model that's being rumored get the OLED tech. That display is going to look gorgeous and it's going to be perfect for consuming content on. The only worry is that right now we have a 14 inch iPad in the works and that apparently is not going to be a Pro model. Instead, it's going to have LCD, no Pro motion and could be a Max version of the Air instead of the Pro, which I'm pretty confused about because why would the max version of the iPad Air be bigger than the iPad Pro? That makes no sense. Either make them the same size or give the bigger size to the Pros, but this is confusing. And ultimately, I would be very disappointed if we do get LCD on this massive iPad. I'm sure many would love to see OLED on this. And so yes, please Apple, make the big iPads a pro variant. So Swimla Max says, Mini LED is a stopgap measure by Apple, much like the Mac Pro, which of course only lasted two years. Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra will prove to Apple that OLED is durable enough. And yes, again, I completely agree. Mini LED for the most part is basically filling the gap till these double stack OLEDs are ready for production. And yes, the SA Ultra being 14 inches 
and not having many burden issues as far as I know does prove these displays are durable enough. And so yes, I'm excited for this transition. I will say though that I do see mini LED replacing LCD in the lineup. So the mid range and the lower end products could stick with mini LED and only the pro variants get the OLED tech. So yeah, I know that goes against the report I just delved into, but that does not make any sense in my opinion. So yes, I firmly believe the lower end and mid range products are gonna stick with mini LED tech and only the pros for now are gonna get OLED. So Fred interestingly believes OLED is not replacing mini LED but instead LCD displays and they believe future iPad Pros and future Macs are gonna keep mini LED. Now honestly, I don't see this happening. Now yes, initially there were reports the iPad Air 5 was gonna get OLED, but that's because we heard this was gonna be a rigid OLED that was gonna be worse than mini LED. So it made sense for the lower end products to get this tech. However, we then got reports regarding these double stack OLEDs and they clearly have major advantages over mini LEDs. So giving them to the lower end products kind of makes no sense. I will say though that what Fred says does kind of corroborate with Ross Young's theory of seeing a MacBook Air with OLEDs. But yeah, sorry guys, I do disagree with that. I do firmly believe OLED is going to be for the pro products. So Electro Boy has a question and that is, do iPads have any cooling systems? And no, they don't really need one because the TDP is so low for their chips. And so we don't need any active cooling, but of course there is a heat sink that does help dissipate the heat. But yeah, because Apple Silicon is so efficient, I don't think the iPad needs cooling. Now King Bucket says, Apple does not make poor business moves. This would be a poor business move. Now this, I completely disagree with. We know these double stack OLEDs are gonna be way better than mini LEDs. So of course, Apple is gonna give us better displays on the iPads and Macs to get us to upgrades. But also mini LED has been seeing supply constraints. And so these OLEDs could possibly be more readily available, but also of course, we do know these are gonna be similar in price to mini LEDs. So yeah, really there's no massive con with Apple switching to OLED. I know everybody says burn in, but do remember these dual stack displays are way more reliable. And of course, do remember that Apple's gonna consider the fact many consumers do hold on to the iPads and Macs for a minimum of five years. And so yes, I'm sure these displays are gonna be durable enough. Anyways, that's about it guys, but tell me your thoughts on this report in the comments. Anyways, thank you for watching guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the link above on details regarding the iPhone 15 series. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.